What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. This isn't something that I normally do in my videos. This is mainly a fishing based channel. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm going to try to incorporate more of this into my channel. But what I'm doing today, as you can tell by the title of this video, is prepping for hunting season. And I'm just going to be doing some trail camera type stuff, putting out some salt blocks, maybe putting out some food. I don't really know where this video is going. And what I mean by that is, is I'm going to film this video over multiple days. So right now I'm going to take this salt block, let me show you guys, right here. I got a 50 pound salt block, it was like 5 bucks at Rural King. You guys saw that video with my friend Hunter and Elliot of us picking up these salt blocks. We actually took one over to Elliot's property um, and put up some trail cameras there to kind of monitor what's going on on that property. What I'm going to do is I'm actually about 20 miles from there now, so like a completely different hunting property. I'm going to put this salt block up in an area where we've... We've put food out for deer here in previous years, and we've had a lot of cool stuff come on the camera. We've had raccoons, birds, squirrels, deer, bears, everything you can think of by just putting out like a salt block and corn and apples and stuff. Anyway, enough talking, let's get straight to it. Uh, and this is gonna be kind of a haul carrying this 50 pound salt block up this hill. Oh gosh vlogging carrying a 50 pound salt block up a hill into the woods so we have set up the salt block right here behind me i'll show you guys what i'm kind of thinking here and why i put it right here so there's kind of like a field over there and then we have a path coming straight through here and then i'm gonna put the salt block probably not a good idea to put it right on the path but i might move it just a hair like up in the woods here maybe just a little bit and then um put the camera not on that tree but on this tree right here, on this little smaller tree, that way it's a little bit further from the salt block, but the salt block is still a place where deer are gonna come through and other animals are gonna come through. Well guys, I actually completely changed my mind. I was just right down there along this path, still on the same path, just about 30 yards down. And then we have like a stand over here. Um, so if we're hunting out of that stand, those deer are gonna be really close to that stand but I don't really want to put the salt block right near the stand um, because I don't want the deer, especially like a big buck, coming really, really close to the stand or like getting them used to coming close to the stand. I don't really think that's necessary because that stand's been there probably three or four years. But anyway, I moved the salt block here in this area because it's a little bit more open and then I think it's going to be a little bit better for pictures. Back there is just kind of too close of quarters. Uh, to get a good picture, but I've set the camera up on this little tree here Cameras right there Salt box right there I'm really thinking this will be a pretty good spot and I hope the camera is working good I'm just gonna kind of walk in front of it a few times to see if like the light comes on or anything But I think it's set up properly But anyway, I'll catch you guys in about a week and we'll come back and check the cameras I might get anxious and check them even sooner, but that'll be the next clip. That's all for today. What is up guys so it's another day here i'm actually back at the trail camera i went to rural king picked up some corn and it turns out i had to do a little bit of adjustment here i've actually moved the trail camera to this tiny little tree here moved the salt block back here i don't know what i was thinking but whenever the trail camera was on this tree over here like the trail camera is on that tree right there it was way above way above the salt block you couldn't even see the salt block in the frame like it took a picture of me standing there and you couldn't even see the salt block because it was so far above it but luckily i've did some adjusting here and i put the trail camera much lower on the tree this time i, I set the salt block up a little higher the trail camera might actually be too low but i don't know i'm gonna just test this out and see if that works gonna put this corn down real quick and then come back a few days later and check it again I think we're all pretty much set up now. I think we make sure this thing's like working. Come on now. So the battery level's looking good. The SD card's in. The light's flashing. I think we're pretty much good. I'm gonna lock these back. And I'll catch with you guys in about a few days, maybe a week or so from now. Whenever I have time, I'll come back and check it and see if we have any deer on the camera. So I'm back here at the trail camera. It's, a week has elapsed since you guys last saw me, or I guess the last clip was shown. But I'm gonna check the trail camera, 
see if we got some good pictures. I know my dad said one day he was up here last week and he was just mowing and he uh, saw a doe just sitting there eating my corn and the doe didn't move the whole time he was mowing. So that's pretty neat. Hopefully we'll have some pictures of some bucks though. I'm thinking we might have a picture of a buck, but let's go check the camera. I brought my laptop with me as well. That way I could save the pictures to my computer and then show you guys instead of like trying to show you through the camera because that just ain't high quality if you know what I mean. Well, it looks like there's a lot of corn that's still left, um, but at the same time, it looks like a lot of it's gone too, so I don't know. We'll check it out. All right, guys, so I can't really tell what this is. I mean, you can tell it's at night, so I'm not sure what that is, though, so let's scroll through some of these. Oh, there's a deer right there. You can barely see him. Looks like this camera doesn't do too good at night, or maybe it's just I have it too close, but that looks like a buck. I mean... I don't know. I can't tell if those are ears right there or those are horns. I think those are horns because... It, oh, no, those are horns, definitely, because the ears come back. Okay, here we have the side of a deer during the day. Uh, the camera's probably a little too close. I need to back it up there some. <laughs> we have Bambi here. Bambi licking on the salt block. Here's another doe just kind of enjoying himself <laughs> or herself, I should say. Oh, we have a crow. A crow came in there. We finally got horns on the camera. It looked like horns in one of those previous pictures tonight, but I couldn't really tell. This may be the same deer. Looks like a spike here. Yeah, definitely a spike right now. But, I mean, it's pretty early in the year, so these deer are just now getting their horns back. But right now it's a spike. <laughs> I love this picture. <laughs> He's putting his butt right on the camera. <laughs> Oh, here's the here's the spike back again, it looks like, here at night at 8.04. Here's another picture of the baby. It keeps coming back at 9.41 a.m. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it was a lot different than what I normally do, like I said at the beginning of this video, but I wanted to do some kind of prepping for deer season. If you guys like to hunt, please let me know down in the comment section down below. I know this is a fishing-based channel, but I want to kind of incorporate more outdoor activities. I think you guys are interested in more than fishing, and it kind of becomes monotonous, fishing and fishing and fishing and more fishing. Now, I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but adding a little bit more variety in this channel i think uh will help the channel overall and i think you guys would really appreciate it as well so please let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed today's video but that's it for today's video and as always go take someone hunting wait a minute wait a minute i think i might just need to change my slogan altogether i might just need to change it into like take someone outdoors i've been saying take someone hunting take someone shooting take someone fishing like <laughs> what do i say what do i say anymore take someone outdoors Thank you.